Hey kids, it's Miss Vicki. You know, things have gotten kind of crazy out there and we haven't been able to meet for Sunday school. So I thought I would bring Sunday school to you in a video. Welcome to Sunday school with Miss Vicki. So uh, today I have on my flannel shirt. I have a flannel sheet here. Can you guess what we're gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about Jesus. Did you say flannel? I kind of tricked you into that one, didn't I? Well, today we're gonna use flannel to talk about Jesus. So I have this special board here. What do you think it's made of? It's made of flannel. And I have little things here. Here's a rocket ship. And this is also made of flannel. So what I do is I put it on our flannel graph and it sticks on there with no tape, no glue, no gum to hold it down. It just stays put. So here's I have a little pig. Put him up there. Isn't that cool? So we can do all kinds of things. I can put the rocket ship in the water and I can have the pig flying around space. I can have the pig flying on the rocket ship. There we go. There's our story. Now, our story today is actually gonna come from the Bible. Where do you think our story is gonna take place? Did you say in the water? Sorry, you're wrong. It actually takes place in a city called Jericho. So I have to hide all of this water. Oops, it's upside down. There we go. Our story takes place in Jericho. And if you want to follow along, you can get your Bible out. All right, here's my Bible. I took the one that has the pink strap on it from church. Shh, don't tell Miss Wendy. Uh, it comes from the book of Luke. Is Luke in the Old Testament or in the New Testament? You got a 50-50 shot. It's in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke. We're gonna to turn to Luke 19 and we're gonna look at verses one to 10 today. So if you wanna get your Bible out, you can do that. I'm gonna finish building up our scene here. So Jericho, if you remember from the Old Testament was a city that um, Joshua and his friends had to walk around for so many days, seven times, and then they had to blow this trumpet and then the walls fell and then the city became uh, for God's people. <clears throat> So our main character today is a man named Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus lived in Jericho, All right? There's our city of Jericho. And he was a tax collector. And in that day, he would go door to door and he would ask people to pay their taxes. But he wasn't always very honest, the tax collectors didn't have a good reputation. They were known as being people who would cheat and who would steal things. Can you think of anybody maybe in your school that might be like that? You're like, oh man, that's not a very nice person. I don't wanna hang out with them. Well, that's what happened to Zacchaeus. Nobody wanted to hang out with him. So uh, one day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming and he was gonna pass through Jericho. So there were other folks who heard this too and they started to line up. They started to gather around because they heard Jesus was coming and they wanted to hear his words. Now, if this was a story that was happening today, we'd have to move everybody pretty far apart, right? No one can be that close, right? But for our story, we're going to leave everybody nice and close so they can all hear, so they can all see Jesus and all the things he has to say. Okay, and here's Jesus, here he is. He's preaching and he's telling people um, all about himself and what it means to be a follower of God. But little Zacchaeus, he was kind of short. I shouldn't cover up his face, should I? There we go, Zacchaeus was kind of short and he couldn't see over everybody. Tried jumping, crowd surfing, none of that worked. So what did Zacchaeus do? I bet you know the answer. Zacchaeus climbed up this big tree and there he is hanging out in the tree. Well, Jesus saw him and said, hey Zacchaeus, you come down because I'm gonna come to your house today. What do you think would happen if you were on the playground and that kid that is kind of a hooligan, is kind of mean, maybe they've stolen stuff or maybe they lie about things. What if Jesus came up to that kid and said, hey, I'm coming to your house today. How would you feel? Me personally, I feel kind of bad because I've been trying to follow Jesus. I've been trying to do a good job. And Jesus, why don't you come to my house? 
But our key verse is coming up, and it says that Jesus said these words, For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. Hmm. So I'm already a follower of Jesus. Jesus lives in my heart, and Jesus is here at my house already. But Jesus needed to come to talk to Zacchaeus. Well, what do you think Zacchaeus did? Hmm. We're going to get rid of this one, and we have a new scene because Jesus is coming to Zacchaeus' house. Let's see what his house looks like. Okay, it's a very purple house. Does that look like an exciting place to live? No, let's make it a little fancier. So we're gonna add a window, give him a nice view of some pretty scenery in Jericho. And it was a fancy house because remember he was stealing money from other people and he was probably taking that for himself to decorate and to have very nice food and nice clothes. So we'll give him some very fancy pillars in his house. We need two. There we go. <clears throat> and he'd have money to buy fancy pots, that over here, to have some fancy decorations, to have some plants. Oh, and he'd have a beautiful table. There it is. So if someone's coming over, what are you gonna put on the table? You're gonna put some food, right? Here's some, I don't know what that is. Some kind of meat, we'll say that's a bird or something, and here's some fruit. <clears throat> Zacchaeus brought out some fancy drinks for Jesus coming over. And here's Zacchaeus, and here's Jesus. And we don't know exactly what they talked about, but we do know this. Here's something that Zacchaeus said, and I'm going to read this right from the Bible. It says, Meanwhile, Zacchaeus stood before the Lord and said, I will give half my wealth to the poor. And if I have cheated people on their taxes, I will give them back four times as much. So imagine if Zacchaeus said, hey, you owe me a candy bar. And you say, but I paid you yesterday in candy bars. He says, no, no, that doesn't count. You owe me a new one today. That would actually be cheating you. If he took that one candy bar from you, how many candy bars would he have to pay back now? Four candy bars. That's a lot of candy bars. So then Jesus said this. Salvation has come to this home today, for this man has so shown himself to be the true son of God. For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. That's our story today. Miss Wendy and I want you to know that we miss you guys, we love you, and we hope to see you again soon. But until then, remember, God made you, God loves you, and God has a wonderful plan for you. See you next time.